Welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. Today we're going to be looking at an introduction to Pythagoras' theorem. Now Pythagoras was a mathematician living around 500 BC, so about two and a half thousand years ago. Now he came up with many mathematical principles, but one of his most famous ones is Pythagoras' theorem, which is what we're going to be looking at. You'll see in the centre of the screen a triangle surrounded by three squares. Now, Pythagoras really wanted to work out in a right angled triangle like this one what the length of the long side of the triangle is, and that's called the hypotenuse. I'll just fill that in there. It's a funny name. But we'll look more at that in future lessons. The hypotenuse is the long length of a right angled triangle. It's also always opposite the right angle. Note that it's on the opposite side to the right angle. Pythagoras was the first, or one of the first, I guess, to prove that he could always work out the length of that long side provided he knew the lengths of the two shorter sides. So we'll use a really basic value, like where the blue line is, we'll say that's three, and where the red line is, we'll say that's four. The question is, how long is that green line? Now Pythagoras determined that if you squared the value of three, you would get a value of 9. So 3 squared is 9. And as you can see in my little diagram, I have 9 little blue squares. If I then also square the other shorter side of the triangle, the 4, we're going to get 16. Like so. 16 red squares. Now the question is, how many squares would fit in the green box? There's the 16 red ones placed in, roughly hand-drawn by me. And then what we find is we can actually add in nine more squares from the blue section. And so by adding together those two squared numbers, 9 and 16, we find that it's 25. And we can fit 25 square numbers or numbers in there. Now, you might go, well, that doesn't really answer how long the hypotenuse is, because the hypotenuse is clearly not 25 centimetres. Instead, we need to get the square root of 25. And the, the root of a number is the opposite to squaring it. So you can think what number squared will equal 25 and the answer is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. That tells us that the hypotenuse is 5 and we can see that from that image. So what we now have or what Pythagoras created was a formula for that hypotenuse. And quite commonly, we refer to those side lengths as A, B, and C. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you give as an A or a B or a C, but commonly the hypotenuse, the long side, is C. So we're going to call it C for argument's sake. And the value of C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared. So that means if we have a triangle that looks like this, that side could be a, that side could be b, but this side has to be c. This is an extremely important formula that you're going to need for the next few lessons, but also are likely to use in the future, particularly if you do anything 
you know, for instance, in construction or anything that involves areas of triangles or lengths of triangles. So hopefully that's made some sense. I really suggest you write down on Pythagoras' theorem, that formula sort of in that multicolored look. And even it can't hurt to draw the image that I've put up here. That will hold you in good stead for the next lessons. Thank you for listening.